good YouTube, this is Nate the Scrub Academy welcoming you to the year 2017. Now I know it's not the first week of 2017, but it's definitely the first video on the channel in 2017. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start a brand new series on the channel. Now that series is only going to be made with your help. As you can see right now, I'm on YGO Pro. With YGO Pro, you can make lots of different decks. Well, every single week, starting this week, going forward, I'm going to be making a brand new deck. Now that deck is going to be chosen by you guys in the comment section down below. This week I'm going to build own, my own deck, and then in the comment section I want you to go ahead and tell me tips and tricks and maybe how to change the deck, because on Wednesday and Friday I'm going to be playing the deck on YGO and seeing how I fare against um, you know, the meta. So I'm going to build this deck today, and then in the next video, and in every single comment section of every single video, I want you to comment a deck. Now it can be any type of deck that you want, it could be a deck that you think I'm used to or I have you know, a little bit of knowledge about, or it could, it could be a deck that I have nothing, I have no knowledge about at all. I have no knowledge, I've never played it, never even looked at it, I have to read every single card of that deck to try and play the deck. Now with that, you can choose that deck, and then if anybody else wants that deck to be played, they can like that comment, and whoever's comment will have the most likes in each comment section will be chosen for that week. With that, I can go ahead and take maybe 15 to 20 minutes and build that deck. Now this is gonna be no preparation, no looking up cards. I'm gonna sit down, I'm just gonna go look through the cards of whatever deck I'm gonna be building and try and figure out what deck, like how to build the deck and how to properly make that deck in a way that I can beat the meta. Now the meta is gonna be changing soon with you know Eidolons and Zodiacs coming out and I know they're gonna be, I'm gonna be running into a bunch of those online. I already know it, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna be, I'm just gotta be prepared for it, I guess. So with that, as you can see, if you look at the deck name, on the video, it's Fluffles. Now this is a deck that I've built before, i played it before in real life, I have deck profiles in the video, on my channel, so I'm gonna go ahead and build that deck today, and then in the comment section I want you to tell me, well maybe you should play this, maybe you should play that, give me some tips and hints, because you guys have probably played the deck too, and if you have, maybe you play it better than me. So let's go ahead and start building this deck, and we'll go from there, and hopefully this deck can beat the meta, and beat those damn Zodiacs. So the first thing that we're obviously going to start off with is typing in Fluffle. Uh, it just kind of gives us a little basis to go off of. Now Fluffle Dog, I'm going to play three of here. Fluffle Dog is the searcher of the deck. It really gets the deck going. Fluffle Penguin is actually very interesting. It's a brand new card coming out soon. Uh, the effect is during your main phase, you can special summon one Fluffle monster from your hand except Fluffle Penguin. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material for the fusion summon of a Fright for a fusion monster, you can draw two cards and then discard one card. You can only use this effect of Fluffle Penguin once per turn. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the draw two, discard one effect of it. I'm more interested in the normal summon or special, uh, the normal summon or special summon, or the, when it's on the field, you can special summon a Fluffle. That's really interesting to me because it allows you to get more monsters onto the field, which is, which is what you want because the more monsters you get on the field, the more hand, the hand advantage you get, the more card advantage you get, and you can hopefully OTK your opponent. Because that's what we're trying to do with this deck. This is an OTK deck. This is not a try and stall out deck. This is not a set five traps type deck. This is a let's try and OTK our opponent turn one. So with that, we're going to be playing two Fluffle Penguin. I feel like Fluffle, uh, three Fluffle Penguin would be kind of cloggy. Um, we're going to go three Fluffle Bear because that's one of the main cards of the deck, along with Fluffle Wings because without Fluffle Wings, Fluffle Bear is kind of non-existent. A lot of people don't play Fluffle Mouse. I'm going to play Fluffle Mouse just because. Um, Octo is another new card. When this card is normal or special to summon, you can target one Fluffle or Edgent monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material for the fusion summon of a Fright for a fusion monster, you can target up to two of your banished monsters. Return those to the graveyard. So that's really cool because you can reuse the monsters that you banish with Fright for Fusion. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of it. Um, I am a fan of the adding back. So let's go ahead and play one. So we've got a bunch of monsters already. We'll add one Fluffle Owl just so we can add back Polymerization to our hand. And I think that's it for the, the 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 Fluffle part of the engine. Since we're here, we can go ahead and add the the Fright for Fusions to our extra deck just so we can get those out of the way. We'll add two Sabertooth, one of the new Kraken. Uh, once returned, this uh, you can target one monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard so it's not destruction. Uh, this card cannot attack directly during the turn this effect is activated. This card uh, can make a second attack during each battle phase. At the end of the battle battle phase, if this card battled, you can change this card to defense position. So that's a big butt. has 3,000 defense, so that's really good. Uh, I'm not seeing too much play of this card, honestly. Um, you, it is kind of generic because it takes just one edge and one fluffle, so it doesn't require certain ones. So that's really good. So, it could see some play. 
we'll be playing two of the Fluffle Sheep, or Fight for Sheep. Um, really good card. Uh, pretty expensive right now, I think, too. Obviously, we're going to be playing two of the Tiger, and then I think we're going to play two, or no, we already have two Wolf there. And I think that's it for that. I think that's a pretty good amount. Then we're going to be playing three Toy Vendor as well. Toy Vendors along with Wings and Bear obviously makes the deck broken, and makes the deck competitive. Without those, I really don't think the deck could be competitive at all. Next, we can go over to the Edge side of the deck and see what we got going on. Edge Chain is super powerful in this, just because it allows you to. Wow, I added the wrong one. Edge Chain at Edge Sabers. We are going to play two Edge Sabers too, but we are going to be adding three Edge Chain because Chain is the one that's kind of broken. You can discard it with Toy Vendor, um, get a draw, do whatever you want, use your wings and bear. But it allows you to add cards. A lot, uh, one of those cards that I really like is actually Fright for Sanctuary. Uh, a lot of people don't play this card. I love it. So let's head over to it and see what it says. Just so I can read it to you so you can understand why I like it so much. So Fright for Factory is a card where you can uh, you can banish one Polymerization spell card or Fusion spell card from your graveyard except uh, Diffusion uh, Wave Motion. And Fusion summon one uh, Fright for a Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of the field as fusion materials. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished Fright for Fusion, add it to your hand. You can only use the effect of Fright for Fusion once per turn. So that's really cool. Um, you can, don't really need a Polymerization or Fright for Fusion then. You can go ahead and add this. Um, if, I'm, if I'm activating Chain's effect, and I know I'm going to be drawing, so say I have Toy Vendor on the field, I activate Toy Vendor, I send Wings, or I send Chain, I draw, I don't, I special summon a Fluffle if I need to. And then I'm going to go ahead and Activate the, the Wings effect to banish it and bear, and then draw a card, then send Toy Vendor and draw a card, then activate Toy Vendor's effect. If I know I'm going to be searching all that and drawing that much, I'm not going to add Fright for Fusion, because I have a feeling I'm going to add it later on that turn. So I would add Fright for uh, Sanctuary first, because I can use that a lot more than I can one Fright for Fusion. So yeah, we're going to be adding two of the Fright for Fusion, one of the Sanctuary. Always add, add, or always add the Factory first before the Fusion. Not Sanctuary, wow. Anyway. So with that, I think that's all we got. That's why I'm saying Sanctuary. Oh my god. Activate this card by discarding one card and sending two Fright for Monsters from Extract to the Graveyard? I don't think so. So yeah, I think that's all we got. We got all those good stuff. Now we can head over and grab our Polymerization. And we're going to have to go ahead and... First off, before we do anything else, let's add our three King of the Swamp. Amazing card. Makes the deck work. Another card where if we didn't have it, the deck probably wouldn't work out. So there's our polymerization. We'll add two of those. So we got two poly, two fright for fusion, one fright for sanctuary, and then I think there's one last fusion that we're actually going to add, and that is instant fusion. Instant fusion is actually a really good card, uh, causing a lot of problems right now for people because of Norden. Uh, Norden plus a water type. Really bad right now with heroes because they can just make Bahamut and then Toad. So we'll do that, but the thing is, we can also do that because we do have water type monsters. We have the penguin, so we can add the Norden, and then we can also add the Bahamut. So we're gonna add the Bahamut Shark to our extra deck. I know it's kind of cheeky to do that, but if I can get it off one time during our duels in the next couple days, I'm gonna do it. So we got that, and then we'll add the Toad as well. The totally awesome. So we got ourselves some totally awesome fluffles. Okay, so we got 34 cards so far in our main deck. We are missing a few cards. Let's try and think of what we're missing that we could use. Um, we are planning on always going second with this deck. Going second is very crucial because we do want OTK. This is not a go first deck. If we go first, we can't really build a board they go off of. So I think I'm gonna actually gonna main Max C because if they go off turn one, I want to be able to draw into stuff so I can like get some answers. I think I'm also gonna add a Regeki. Just to clear some boards. Um, I know it's not combo based. It um, doesn't really help you OTK, but it does help you in a way where if your opponent has a lot of monsters on the field and you can't really get rid of things, this can help. So we got the Regeki, especially with Zodiacs coming out, um, you really need that board wipe. So we got the Regeki, got the two Maxis, and then I think the last three cards we're going to add is the Twin Twister. Twin Twister, also a very good card. Uh, a lot of people aren't, like, Pendulum uh, decks obviously aren't playing it because they don't want to discard the Pendulums. But it's so good right now being able to hit that back row. Now, especially with this deck because you do want to OTK. And if you go into a ti uh, Fright for Tiger and then they just strike you and you're like, oh, well, sad sauce. Can't really do anything after that. You can't really catch up. So yeah, that is our main deck right there. We got our three Fluffle Dog, two Penguin, Bear, three Wings, three Mouse, 
one octo, excuse me, one owl, the three toy vendor, the two sabers, the three chain, the two uh, freight for fusion, the one freight for factory, the three king of the swamp, two polymerization, two instant fusion, two maxi, one regeki, and then three twin twisters. And then for our extra deck, we have the freight for saber tooth, the freight for kraken, the freight for, two freight for wolves, two freight for sheep, two tigers, one norden. One totally awesome and one Bahamas shark. We do have room for three more cards in our extra deck. Um, I think I'm actually going to add, just in case, Utopia and Utopia Lightning. Um, those cards can really get you out of really sticky situations. Um, there have been multiple times where I'm just like, oh shoot, like you can't get over something. Well, you got this. Or if you need to get over a Toad, you need to get over anything really. You always got that Utopia. And then the last card in the extra deck is probably the best rank 4 besides Utopia the Lightning in Castell. So this is our entire main deck, extra deck. Um, I'm not going to build a side deck right now. I might throw that together later before I actually play the game. Um, if I do, I'm going to go ahead and cover that before I play. Uh, I just got to do a little more thinking about that to figure out what kind of decks I think I'm going to be running into on YGO. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the entire deck. If you did enjoy, make sure to click that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. I know I've been gone for a long time. I apologize. I am back now. We're going to be doing uh, videos weekly, like three times a week at least. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you do see any cards you want me to change this deck, go down below in the comment section. Leave me a comment. I will reply as soon as possible for you guys. And I'll get back to you. And we can try and get this deck built before I test it on Wednesday. And hopefully I don't lose. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Nate from the Scrub Academy. Signing up for now. Peace out.